Hey, welcome back to my channel. Van here. I'd like to thank y'all for stopping by my channel and checking me out. I got another informative video for you today. Today we're going to look at the Silhouette Cameo 2. And what we're going to do today is we're going to pull up an image off the internet. And we're going to trace it and cut it. So, let's see here. Let's pull up D O N Donald Duck Black Black and White Images. The colored images don't work well because you can't trace them. So let's go to the images. Let's see here. They have made this one where you can't do it unless you take it to your Photoshop, your paint app or something on your desktop this seems to be now see how they did this right here around the hat you can fix that in your paint shop oh let's see let's do this one all right i'm going to right click save image as And I do not know why my computer is so slow today. Probably because I'm going to do a video. We want to save it on the desktop. Which is already there. Click save. Now we're going to minimize this. And we're going to go to the desktop and see if we can see it. Where are you at, Donald Duck? Right click, save image as. Well, there we go. Should be on there. Here we go. We don't need to open that up though. We're going to go to our Silhouette Studio. Now we've got this thing trying to open. Silhouette Studio. Okay. All right, first thing we need to do is we need to change. We're going to do a four by four, four inches by four inches. Right now we're set up on a 12 by 12. So we're going to go to this little area right here, this little icon. Click right here. We're going to do backspace 4.0. backspace 4.0 that's your height and width and see you got one two three four one two three four you get four inches to see you get your grid behind you you can zoom out and see your grid of your uh, your media all right, we're going to zoom back in. Just one click. Go to File. Open. And we are on the desktop. Here we go. I double clicked on that image. I'm not doing anything else right now. I'm just going to let it load up. 
All right. To get to this, let's see. Tap it till you see these boxes come up. Center it in. You want to go to this right here. I call it a piece of toast. But just click on that icon. It's open the trace window. Click right here where it says select trace area. Move your cursor. It's got a little plus sign on it. Double click, hold, and drag. Double click. Till you get a little box. Use your little arrows right here on the corners and sides to fit this in. All you want is the image. You don't want to go much bigger than the image. So see, you're just dragging the box now. You're double clicking and dragging. Double click, hold, drag. Now you want to go to this right here. Your high pass filter. Drag this little arrow over to you see it. See how it goes from there? You want it to go yellow like this. You want it to go to that color. Now you're going to go up here to this little butterfly icon and just click it one time. Traced it. Go back to this image where you got your little hand. Click it once. Now double click, hold, and drag. You want to get this image out of the way. You got your box around it. See, your box is around that image. Right click, delete. Go to this image that you just traced. With hand, you click on it. Go up here to this little bucket. You're going to fill it with a color. You can go to any color you want. You can do that color, you can do that color, that color. All this does is it allows me to be able to see what I'm fixing to weed out. So this picture, let's say this picture is not the right size for it. Let's say this picture, after you traced it, is that big and you need it to be a 4x4. Four four. Okay, the image is taller than it is wide. So you want to go to the height. Backspace out of the height right here. Backspace out of it and put, since it's four inches, go 3.75. All right. Now double click, get your hand up there. Not the cursor, but the hand. Double click. No, don't do that. No, don't do that. Get your hand on it. Click it once. Now double click and drag to where it fits in. And you may not be able to see it, but there's a line right here. Follow this cursor. There's a line right here. You cannot go out past that line. See the little line? It goes all the way around the box. That is your cutoff point. You do not want to go out past your cutoff point because it's going to cut your image off. Now that you've got it ready to cut, go over here, send a silhouette. That's what that little icon is, send in the silhouette. And then you click start. I don't have anything in my machine right now, so I'm not going to do that. But that's how you uh, find an image on the internet. You put it in your uh, Silhouette Cameo Studio, and you trace it, you resize it. So thanks for stopping by. There's going to be more videos to come. If you like this video, please subscribe. Click the notification button to where you can see whenever I post videos. Like it and share it. And thank you for stopping by and have a great day.